Hey guys, thanks for clicking on another video of mine. And for this video, I'm going to review another sunscreen. And this time, it's this Alta MD um, UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. It has a very long name, so I'm just going to put it in the screen. So this is what it looks like. This is the one for acne prone skin, which I have. I have oily, sensitive, and acne prone skin. So if you are looking for a sunscreen and we have the same skin type, then I hope this video will help you. So this Elta MD comes with 48 grams of product or 1.7 ounces. And this has a lot of good um, ingredients. It has niacinamide, it has zinc oxide, which is also why it's good for sensitive skin and acne prone skin. So it comes in a plastic packaging with a very good pump. The pump um, releases enough product for you to cover the whole face and, and your neck. Um, this retails for around $35. So it's quite expensive considering it only contains 48 grams of product. And for sunscreen, you have to use it every day. You have to use a lot in order for you to be able to really be protected from the sun. So... Cost per use is a little bit expensive, but performance is really good and I think that kind of justifies the price. This one comes in a pump, as I mentioned, and it comes out white, but it blends quite easily. It's very easy to blend. You don't have to tug on your skin and it, um, it gets transparent. And I don't see any flashback with this one. Um, it's very easy to blend. It's good for oily skin. It does not sting my face. It does not sting my eyes. If if I I put sunscreen near my eyes, but despite that, it does not sting my eyes. So that's good. Even if I'm perspiring, I don't really notice any stinging. So that's good. So it did not break me out. I have very acne prone skin. And this one, it did not break me out. I didn't notice any additional breakouts when I was using it. But also, I didn't, I didn't notice this helping with my existing acne already. But it definitely helped me prevent having additional acne. So this also does not have any perfumes in it. It just smells like um, a sunscreen. You know, the typical like sunscreen smell. It just smells like that. So which is good because it, perfume also can be bad for those with sensitive skin. And it perfumes don't really have any purpose for skincare. So that's good. And again, as I mentioned, it's very easy to blend. You don't have to tug on your skin to blend it out. It does not leave any white casts and it's very good for acne prone skin. And if you're really willing to invest in a good sunscreen, then this one is a good option. This has been recommended by a lot of dermatologists. That's why, I've, uh, that's why I also um, decided to try it out and it's a very good sunscreen. However, it's very costly. So if you are willing to invest, then this is a good one, but I'm still trying out other um, sunscreen that is a bit more budget friendly because this one is just too expensive for the amount of product that you're getting and it's also this is also not readily available here in the philippines i bought it in amazon when i was in the states so now that i'm not i don't plan on going there anytime soon because of the virus but still it's not really readily available so i'm also looking for other alternative like sunscreen for acne prone skin for my skin um, skin type and also I want to quickly compare it with my La Roche-Posay um, sunscreen that I already reviewed before, beforehand I'm going to link it link the video in the cards in case you want to see my review on this one but just to com compare the two this contains 49 grams this is 48 grams so this is a gram more than this one is and this also is less expensive than this one but this one is not as bl it's not as easy to blend as this one this one requires a little bit of tagging on your face and also 
if you put a lot of this and you were you didn't blend it as well um this will it will not pile up but it will create like white patch patches on your face especially if you put on makeup on top of it and this one is made in the usa this one is made in france if you're particular on that then i hope that helped you but all in all performance wise they're both good they're both they both did not break me out they both help calm my skin it's just that the consistency of this one perhaps because it has niacinamide it's just really it just felt better this one the experience of putting this on my face it just felt better than this one this one feels a bit heavier than this one and also the consistency it's quite um it's thicker than this one so it's also not which is why it's not as easy to blend as this one but all in all they're both good if you want if you want to invest one just i recommend going for this one but if you want a bit more um less expensive option that's for that's also okay for your acne prone skin then this large per se is also a good one so um, I'm not really an expert on sunscreen or in any skincare whatsoever. All the, all of, all of the things that I'm saying are based on my experience. So if you have any questions and if you have the same skin tone as mine or skin type as mine, then just comment them down below and I'll try to to answer them. But that's about it. That's going to end this very quick review on the Elta MD sunscreen, and I hope it will help you with you and with your skin concerns so that's it thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye